Y'all know what time it is. We got the granite. So if y'all saw my last video, y'all saw I found out this clean ass spot of gravel. <laughs> it's part of the park that I go to. Uh, it's actually a nice spot because I ran the Bigfoot through here. If you saw the last video too, you saw that the Bigfoot actually crashed. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That was some kind of bird or something. But yeah, uh, it's on 2S right now. I have it on a Z battery. It's on 2S. I like 3S because it goes 50. The issue is this thing kills batteries. I bought two 3S batteries to run in it. Maybe got about 30 minutes, 50 minutes per each battery. This thing kills batteries. So we're going to see how it does on 2S. Hopefully it runs longer. If it doesn't, that's fine. But we're just going to see how it does. Let's bring it back here. Get you a little flyby. Watch this. Let's get down low. That's full throttle. Dang. Brandon, don't mess around. Look at that. Just kicking up rocks. Yes, sir. This granite is so clean. Just like the Bigfoot, though, it rolls over. I gotta watch out for that water on the side. That's that's the same, not the same spot, but same kind of water that damaged the Bigfoot. Just like it almost did there. The thing I noticed with the granite, which is weird, is that the granite it loses control on its own. It's weird. So like when you're steering, if it hits something, it automatically adjusts for it. Now see the Bigfoot has that, but that's for to keep it level. This doesn't have that like gyro steering, whatever they call that. This is just all you. So like it just decides to steer wherever it wants. And this is probably the RC that has the most sensitive steering out of all of mine. It's just so sensitive. Like one little blip and it just like turns. So here, let's bring it back. This isn't full throttle, it's about half maybe. Yeah, the steering on this, so stiff, or not stiff, so loose. I mean, it steers kind of fast. But it's just uncontrollable. Like, I could not imagine being back here on 3S. This thing will get destroyed on 3S back here. I'd probably definitely go in the water. Like, look, that was... <laughs> Let's back that up. I could probably get out of it. Yeah, I can. I love the color too. They had a red and a was a red and white. I went with the green and black. I love the green and black. The reason why I like the green and black is because this actually reminds me of like a mini X Max, just based off the color scheme. Because the X Max I have is green and black, and my grand's green and black. Yeah, this thing's nice. Definitely meant for off roading. It's really good on on road too. Like, look, it just kicks up rocks. They do not play around. Hey, let's go take it in the grass zone. See what it does in the grass. Why is the wheel binding? That's weird, the wheel was buying, unless that was some cogging issue. Might have been something in the wheel, though. Look at that thing fly. <laughs> oh, land it. There you go. <laughs> I own a lot of, like... Most of mine are monster trucks. Like I have the Granite, the X-Max, the Bigfoot. Um, but I also have the Red Cat Tornado. I probably wouldn't take that out in grass. Um, I wouldn't do too well. Motor might get hot too fast. And then I also have a uh, Legendary Sonic is what I also got. But this Granite, this Granite don't mess around. 
Even on 2S, it's not bad. Four-wheel drive. As you can tell, four-wheel drive. And then here, four-wheel drive. So this performs a lot better than the Bigfoot, but it still shares the same issue with the Bigfoot of it um, rolls. So yeah, great truck, guys. It's starting to get springtime, so the grass is starting to be less muddy, which is good. Because a lot of my RCs always got caked in mud. That was the thing that happened all the time is they got caked. Such a great truck. I would highly recommend buying one of these. You could buy them for about $340. Uh, I got mine on Amazon. But you get a 3S brushless system, brushless motor, brushless ESC, four-wheel drive. And from all I've heard is people always say the granite is like indestructible. I haven't broken a single thing on this yet. Uh, knock on plastic. But yeah, I mean, this thing performs great. You get the wheelie bar with it. Underbody. All plastic. The one thing I like about this too is if you notice, the body sits here. But you have this bar, so the section right here is all plastic, which encases all the components. So that's actually pretty nice because it's almost like a protective case for it. Oh, that's first rollover. Got Bigfoot Junior out here. Let's roll that back over. So let's get a quick flyby on the grass and see how it does. Here's full throttle on 2S. Yes, sir. I don't even know how fast it goes on 2S. It went 50 on a 3S. It goes fast enough on 2S, though. I would highly only recommend 3S if you're just doing, like, speed runs because I'm telling you, this thing kills batteries so fast. Let's see, one more, one more. Dang, that went by fast. Let's see what this does. See what it does. Yes, sir. Granted, don't mess around. But it always wants to act like a Bigfoot, though. It always wants to roll. Flip that back over. Let's get one more flyby. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at that thing go. Bring it back, bring it back. Give you a little view again of it. So that's the Armor Granite uh, bashing. So not too bad. Uh, might try a 3S bash, see how that does. I'll have to bring my second battery so I could at least get like 20 minutes out of it. But then, thank you guys for watching and here's the Armor Granite. Before the more.